what is going on bull nation this is tron and today we're going to be showing you how to complete the brothers in arm redacted mission this is going to be a tier four and we need to do the following one of them is enter the factory wing of the bunker second one is we need to kill in the same deployment the sniper and also the rhino guy so today we're going to be showing you how to get there what exactly you need to do to be able to access the bunker and being able to take care of those two new bosses in dmc so if you like how that sounds a like is much appreciated so let's dive into this video now if you guys need any help in regards to dmc or completing this mission or any mission doesn't matter what it is we are here we're your go-to channel helping you complete anything in dmc now the first thing we need to do is we need to go and access the koisha complex now there are four different locations three of them are marked as a question mark and the last one is by the oasis this is where you can go and we also made a video about it where exactly it is you can check on our description here now we went through this one is through the rohan oil once you go in through the Rohan oil, you're going to go through the underpass and then you're going to go through the wall. And then as you go there, you're going to be accessing the Koisha complex. Now, once you're in here, you're going to make your way through and fight different type of wave of bots and just be prepared. My advice to you is make sure you guys come with a three plate couple of self revives or if you don't then make sure you come on a, as a team of three if you're trying to come this icy solo or duos once you go in here it's going to look very familiar because it's just like the raid that you have completed from tier one now from season one so as you go through the different doors and different walls they're going to be uh, turrets that you need to take care of or else you know they're going to do a lot of damage against you once you get through the different type of locations and as you, I'm seeing you, I'm showing you guys here where exactly you need to go, then you need to make sure you do two things. One of them, you're going to need one battery and you're also going to need jumper cables. The reason you're going to be able to need those is because you need to access the next door that is going to take you to the complex, which is going to give you access to the bunker where we need to be located now as you find the different uh, ba the battery and also the jumper cables you're going to come to this location here which is going to be on the right side where it's going to ask you to place something to give the door some power this is going to be in the chemical plant location and it says there insert jumper cables and car battery once you do that then the big door is going to open next thing you need to do after you cross this location is you're going to need one special thing and that is going to be the factory admin key you need to find this key now the location of this key is very straightforward and i'm going to give it to you guys right now is as soon as you go through the chemical plant it doesn't matter which location of the different four complexes you're coming through this next room doesn't change you're going to go straight to the middle is the only middle section that has like a small house or a small little building that has light inside of it. Now, as you get there, you're going to be able to see that around you, there's going to be in two different locations, there's going to be some type of tunnels or some vent where you have to crouch. Once you guys crouch in there, you're going to be able to see that inside of it there's going to be a key that you need to get now this is the factory key that you're definitely definitely are going to need because this one is really going to give you access to the next next location which is where we need to do is 
grab the key and then we need to go to a one now this becomes a little bit of confusing because of a couple of things one you need to have night goggles to be able to access this location without night goggles you're pretty much are going to be lost because you're not going to be able to find your way unless you have any night goggles once you have those night goggles then it's going to be a lot easier accessing the different locations now take a note the bots here do hit hard so if you're trying to stay take them straight forward i'm sure you're going to lose that fight so the best thing to do here is try to take cover use your lethals use your semtex whatever you're bringing and use those to your advantage try to take out the bots as soon as you can and once you clear some of the bots then go look for the key if you are surrounded by too many bots once you get to this location and now you guys have the key which i already show you where exactly you need need to get it it's called the factory admin key now once you get this key you're going to go to a different a bunker location or a different location which is going to be a one and the best way to get here is by going against the wall. I know this is brand new and it looks very confusing, but I'm also leaving you guys with this map here that you can find right when you enter the um, chemical plant room. You're going to be able to see this map. It tells you where exactly you are. It's still a little confusing where the map, how the map is laid out, but the best, best way not to get lost and find this next room which is going to be the factory wing of the bunker you get to see where it is located which is going to be on the top best thing to do here is go along the walls and just run along the walls and you're going to be able to see different letters on top of each opening and then you're going to come to this location which is going to be a1 once you guys are able to see this that it says a1 you're going to need that key that allows you to access the factory admin room once you guys are in the factory admin room then i'm going to be showing you guys step by step yes i am providing you guys step by step because it does get really confusing and it does get very complicated the good thing about this in this location is it looks very similar like raid episode 2 if you have completed or you played raid episode 2 you know what i'm talking about and the best thing to do here is go right straight and you need to go do the following another note that i want to give you guys about the key is that the key does respawn a couple of times so if you don't see it there that means someone else got it and yes that means pvp mode you're going to be facing other other uh, operators that you need to take out or else you know they will take you guys out so once you do that best weapons to bring in to be able to take out the rhino and the, also the sniper guy are going to be the following either if you don't have an mlg lmg that is one of the best weapons you guys can bring if not bring a broadside shotgun this you can get this is the shotgun that the um pyro guy drops when you go and kill him in uh, almazra this gun destroys the pyro with about three different clips you can take him out completely do a tremendous amount of damage and so those are the best weapons now to be able to get to the pyro is just follow along where i'm showing you guys here once you get to this location that i'm showing you guys here you're going to get a prompt that says the rhinosaurus and sniper are in the factory wing once you get to the factory wing and you are able to see here you're going to see the rhino in this location once you are inside of this location it's similar like you guys were in the raid you're going to be able to go against him best thing is i mean lay that shotgun on him once you guys take him out because uh, it will take you some time to be able to take him out but once you do and you deal a lot of damage and he's out you're going to be going to the next phase which is the next phase is you're going to be able to take out the sniper and to be able to access the top is a blue door is going to open that you're going to be able to see here 
um, in this door you're going to open it after you kill the rhino once you kill the rhino you go up the stairs there's going to be tons and tons of traps so you need to make sure you either defuse them or you're crouching down right flat on the floor and you just walk through them and you can defuse them as you go and once you do that you're going to be able to do this for every single just make sure you are laying down and going through the different locations because you will see all the different traps that are laid for you to just completely die this is the way that the sniper guy is taking care of himself so, so you won't kill him easily but you need to make sure you are killing him and also at the same time you need to make sure that you don't get pushed by players and also by bots that will spawn right behind you and they're going to try to take you out uh, if you need to the best thing to do here is have one person uh, kind of like looking in the background just to make sure that no bots or any opponents come at you once you get to this location where the sniper is all the way to the back because that's what he does he tries to get away from you and goes and just traps himself in the background and you take him out you are going to get a couple of good items one of them is going to be the new dot 5 pistol that you can grab and it will unlock it for you right away it drops also a victus and also it does give you a key that you definitely definitely want to pick up that key because without that key you're not going to be able to get the weapon case and the key is called the secure room key it's only going to have one use because that's all you need It's only going to give you one access to being able to grab the case you can grab the case from there on but that is all you need to do once you kill the the sniper in the same deployment as the rhinosaurus then you're going to be able to complete brothers in arms so i hope this video is very informative to you guys and if you need any help in regards to dmc you already know it we are your number one youtube channel just make sure you turn your notifications to all once you guys subscribe and to summarize everything you need to go to any koshi complex location access there you need to bring a battery you need to bring jumper cables make sure you get the admin key that opens the factory admin location go to the west side of the factory when bunker access it take out the rhino take out this sniper once you do that you're going to complete this mission once again thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one